Welcome to Jefferson City. I'm sitting in the House Chamber in the Missouri House of Representatives in the General Assembly in the Capitol, and I wanted to give you an update about the first month of session. Our session, as you know, goes from January until the third week of May. So now, in the first week of February, we've completed more than 20% of our legislative session. We had a very exciting January this year as we welcomed a new governor as well as a new president and we formed uh, committees. I serve on three committees that I've been on in the past, Budget, Ways and Means, Appropriations for Economic Development and Transportation, as well as a new committee, Energy and Environment, and I'm looking forward to participating on that new committee uh, given the high priority that energy issues are placing both on our state and national agenda. In our first month of session, budget issues have already come uh, to the forefront in terms of issues where there will be quite a bit of discussion as we proceed with the session. We know that we are facing a shortfall um, in the hundreds of millions of dollars, and so we, both Democrats and Republicans, are working with Governor Jay Nixon to figure out how we can best expand access to health care for the people in our state, continuing to make sure that there's access to higher education for our students. You may have heard about Governor Nixon's proposed tuition freeze, and to continue to emphasize the values and the priorities that we have for Missouri, both in the short term and the long term. Today, we are debating an economic development package. I'm pleased that some language that I've been working on for the last two years related to research and development in biotechnology is currently in the economic development package. We'll see how things go this afternoon. It's always a tense debate when big issues come up. Um, but I'm so glad that you could be here, through this video at least, to see a little bit of what I do in the Capitol in Jefferson City. I always welcome your visits, whether they are virtual visits over email or real visits in the Capitol. Earlier today, in fact, I had a constituent here named Annie Seal who put together a rally related to eating disorders and I have filed legislation this year that would require insurance companies to provide treatment for eating disorders. And uh, it was great to have Annie and other experts come to Jefferson City to help raise awareness about eating disorders and uh, steps that the, legislat the legislature can take um, to make sure that victims of eating disorders receive the appropriate treatment. So there'll be many, many issues that come in front of the legislature this year, whether they are budgetary or healthcare or science or environment or anything else. And I hope that you'll stay in touch. I will try to communicate frequently with you uh, regarding what I'm doing and what the legislature is doing. And I hope to hear from you and see you often.